welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jimberly, Lee. And today's video is going to be three easy, healthy dinner ideas. If you make any of this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on either my Twitter, my Instagram, or on all of my social media so that I can go ahead and give it a like. Um, because I like to see all you guys' creation. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. And I hope you guys like this and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to rinse one cup of quinoa, then put two cups of water to boil. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cover and let it boil until it's all done and then I'm gonna put it on low. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get the vegetables started. I have cucumber, tomato, avocado, lemon, green onions, and cilantro. I already pre-washed all of my vegetables. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pour my quinoa and start cutting off my cucumber. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and dice it up. And I'm going to add it straight to the quinoa, to the cooked quinoa. I'm also cutting the cherry tomato in half and adding that to the quinoa. Chopping up some green onions, some cilantro and I'm also putting some avocado for added fats and I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze all the lemon juice all over the salad add a little bit of sea salt and mix it in and you're all done then for my chicken, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some spices. You can put whatever spices you want, but I prefer this spice, just putting garlic. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my cooking spray and I'm just gonna spray the grill and I'm gonna go ahead and grill my chicken. After seven minutes or once it's all well done and fully cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and serve it and there you have it. The next one is Mexican chicken bowl and this is really easy. All you have to do is just uh, get your crock pot or your slow cooker, put one pound of beans, make sure that you wash your bean beans before cooking it, then drain the water and then just go ahead and fill it up with water. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cook it for up to five hours on high heat. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my chicken here. I have a chicken tender and then I just went ahead and um, Got some garlic, cilantro, salt. I also added some pepper and also some sea salt. Then I'm going to squeeze lime all over the chicken tenders and I'm gonna cover it and just marinate it for minimum two hours. Uh, you can also do it overnight and you can just leave it in the fridge. After two hours, you can go ahead and start cooking your chicken. I'm just spraying some cooking spray and I'm just gonna go ahead and cook it. And while it's cooking, I'm gonna start prepping my pico de gallo. You will need red onion, tomato, lime, jalapeno, cilantro, and a bowl. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and chop off all my vegetable here. I'm mincing the uh, onions. I am also gonna dice up my tomato. I'm also gonna go ahead and chop up my jalapeno. You can either take out the seeds or not. I prefer to keep the seeds because we like our food spicy. I'm also gonna go ahead and chop up my cilantro. Cilantro is my favorite herbs and I always gotta have it in my fridge. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze the whole lime. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of sea salt and voila, that's your pico de gallo. Once your beans is fully cooked, you can go ahead and start prepping all of the ingredients that you have, which are your avocado, your chicken, your pico de gallo, and your beans. What you're gonna need to do is get all the chicken that you just cut and put it on top of that beans. Then you're gonna also add some, some of that pico de gallo, chop up some avocado, and uh, just 
you know, garnish it with some cilantro for added more flavor. And that's all you have to do. Seriously, guys, you guys have to try this. The next recipe is this salmon teriyaki. Guys, this is so good and so healthy and it's going to fill you up. First things first is I'm going to heat up a pan into like a medium high heat. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my cooking spray and cook my salmon between 6 to 8 minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and prep all my vegetable. I've already pre-washed them and they're ready to cut. And I am going to cut them in kind of like a square form so that it can fit into the skewer. Then I'm going to go ahead and spray some avocado oil on my George Foreman grill and I'm just going to go ahead and grill my vegetable. Here I've already put half a cup of brown rice and salmon and this is the teriyaki sauce that I'm using and I really like it because it's low in sodium and um, it doesn't have any MSG so I highly recommend it. You guys should try it. And then I'm going to go ahead and chop up some green onions. I'm going to top off uh, my salmon with some green onions. It really adds a lot of flavor. And then I'm going to go ahead and garnish it with some sesame seeds. After a few minutes, the vegetables should be all ready and crisped up. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it out of the skewer. And that's pretty much it. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up if you like this video. And if you guys have any video requests or uh, what video would you like to see next, please leave me a comment down below and I will make sure to, you know, do it. And um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!